Hey, Squatch Reloading here. Today we're going to focus on sizing. And this is going to be one of our shorter videos in this series, but we're going to need our die set. And in this case, we're going to use the Dillon 10 millimeter 40 Smith & Wesson carbide die set. And we're going to be focused on this guy right here. The sizing into capping die. It's pretty uh, straightforward to set up, but uh, that's what we're going to do today. So this will be one of the shorter videos, but I also want to take this time to remind you guys that you can still pick up your shirts from uh, Frag Out Clothing Company. And in fact, I got this awesome lid right here uh, from Frag Out when I picked up my shirts. So you guys got till April 18th to get over there and get your Mr. Holster t-shirts. So with that being said, let's get this sizing die set up on our Dillon XL750. All right, so the first step in the process, we want to bring our shell plate all the way to the top of the press, and we're going to leave it just like that. Okay, guys, so we know that our sizing die, uh, we have to size prior to putting our powder in. And the way this XL750 is configured, you have to install your uh, powder measure in this station right here. And we also know that our case feeder right here is uh, prior to this station. So this is the station that we're going to install our sizing die into. And on this um, uh, anodized tool head that I have from Dillon, uh, they have the stations number. This is one, two, three, four, and five. And we will continue to use those numbers as reference throughout this video series. So we're gonna take our sizing die, making sure that our decapping pin's in good shape. And again, um, I don't decap on the press. I mean, I have in the past, but uh, I get free labor uh, decapping. So I just leave it on there just in case uh, mini Squatch misses one. But we're just gonna put it in a couple threads and then we're gonna go into getting it uh, to the correct depth. And uh, I went ahead and I removed the powder measure so out of station two so we could see, uh, get a good idea of what's going on here with our sizing die. Keep in mind we have our shell plate all the way to the top of the stroke. So to set up our sizing die is very simple. We're just gonna thread it down until it touches the shell plate. We are not gonna do a cam over, we're not doing a preload. Um, the Dillon Progressive with the shell plate design um, is not intended to do a cam over. So once we get it to where it touches the shell plate, we're done. And the reason being is every subsequent station with the Dillon die specifically, we're not uh, necessarily touching the shell plate each time. Um, and this press doesn't require a cam over. It's not a cam over design and it doesn't require any preload. Uh, you know, unlike our Reddings where we uh, use the sizing die and every subsequent die to keep a consistent preload, uh, taking the slop out of the linkages on the Dillon, we don't need to. So what I'm going to do is once it touches, I'm going to stop right there and then I'm going to drop a cartridge, make sure I don't do it upside down, uh, into the uh, adapter here and then we're going to cycle the press and make sure that we get this uh, button down under load so that our threads are all engaged and centered up before we tighten this lock nut down. So we're going to make sure again. We're going to make sure it's touching the shell holder. We're going to drop a cartridge in and then bring it up into the sizing die. And you can see some movement there. So once we get it up, then we're going to go ahead and button down our lock ring. So we're going to take our wrench and get it nice, nice and snug. Trying not to round it off. Um, that's one complaint I have about the Dillon dies is their lock rings are are pretty soft but we have that uh, die adjusted it's buttoned down and now we're going to check it in a case gauge to make sure that it's all good so our first uh, size cartridge from the machine we're going to go ahead and just index it around and we're going to confirm it in the case gauge so now we have our case gauge here this is the Dillon 10 millimeter uh, case gauge we're going to drop it in make sure that it's flush it looks good. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to just size maybe four more and uh, double check everything and make sure that they're all good. 
Let's uh, put four more in. I'm just going to manually put these in our case feeder. So we're going to go ahead and run uh, four more cartridges, and we already dropped those into our case feeder. So in this, this step, we're going to do a couple things. One, we're going to confirm that our cartridges are dropping out um, as they need to be onto our uh, slide rail there. Make sure they're, they're hitting in the station they need to, station one. We're going to also use these to confirm uh, five pieces on, on our case gauge. We're going to check those dimensionally. And then also, if we need to make any adjustments to this cartridge drop, I'll show you guys where we do that if we need to. So here we go. Let's go ahead and size these uh, other four cartridges. Okay, everything uh, dropped out smooth. We're going to go up into our sizing die. We're going to get all four of these complete. And our cartridges are dropping out nice from our case feeder. There's one, two, three, and four. Now, if you guys are ever having issues with your cartridges um, dropping out um, or not picking up from your case feeder, uh, most of the time, there's an adjustment right here, and this uh, screw will actually uh, um, adjust how far in and out uh, that this um, cartridge pickup comes on each stroke. So sometimes you may have to adjust that um, in and out um, to get those to pick up out of your case feed tube. Now, I've seen some guys, um, you know, uh, mess around with this or, or whatever, but uh, nine times out of a ten, you don't have it adjusted right here. So just keep that in mind. So what I check to confirm my sizing die is I'm just going to check the uh, case uh, diameter and the spec on these is uh, looks like 425 thousandths. These are all measuring uh, 423. This one's 422. So, but we know that when we size, we typically undersize a little bit um, and that builds in um, neck tension for our bullet. And, uh, yep, these are all four, 423, so I'm seeing uh, good consistency in my, in my sizing die. And looking at the overall length, these should be uh, 0.992. And, again, these are all, these are uh, 0.991 and a 5. Yeah, 0.991 uh, and a 5. So the, these, are all, um, these are all good to go. So we know our sizing die is set up correctly. Okay, so what did we do today? We confirmed that our case feeder is functioning properly. Uh, I showed you guys the little adjustment screw up here. If you're having some issues, that's the first place I would look before I go fiddling with anything else up here. We also got our sizing die set. And again, we're not in a cam over press. We're not in a uh, preload press. Um, this one, we just want to kiss the die to the shell plate because we don't want to cause any variability by warping that shell plate up and down. We uh, sized five cartridges. We're going to reuse those because in the next video, we're going to set up our powder measure and our pre-flare or bell so we make sure that we get those 180 degree accurate outdoor hollow points set just right. So uh, also, before I forget, you still got time, and I mentioned it earlier. Get over to Frag Out Clothing Company and get your Mr. Holster t-shirt. Uh, it's a great cause, and they're great shirts. Uh, I just got mine in the mail last week, and they're fantastic. So all my videos, guys, are on Utah Gun Exchange, Gun Streamer, and the Reloaders Network. Don't forget, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Squatch Reloading. Um, so until next time, and now more than ever, God bless.